Hi, I'm Dr. Emma from Simple Physical Literacy. If you'd like to hear more about retained primitive reflexes, please subscribe by clicking on the button below and watch the video on retained primitive reflexes. Today I'm talking about the spinal gallant reflex in a nutshell. The spinal gallant, like many of the reflexes, is there for birthing. It helps the baby when they're twisting down the birth canal. It also helps the spine to develop later when the baby has been born. But if it's retained, if it's not integrated, these are the children who have ants in their pants. Along their back, they're super sensitive. And the test for it is if you run a finger or pen or pencil down one side of the spine and the hip kicks out, down the other side of the spine and the hip kicks out. If it's on one side, the children can be prone to scoliosis. If it's on both sides, uh, the, the spine may not develop properly, but an impact in the classroom, the children are fidgety, ants in their pants, hopping around. They may be labelled as hyperactive, but it's not. It's just that their back is so super sensitive. They often, um, the boys or girls, will wear their trousers down low. And I know that might just be the trend for older kids, but in younger children, if they can't bear the waistband of the trousers to be up around their back, then that's the spinal gallant. See girls with their tights, you know, hanging down, they're all flashing half moons. That's the spinal gallant. Their lower back can be really super sensitive. And as a result, they may be bedwetters um, because this is activated then when they're asleep in bed at night and they have, can have poor bladder control past the age when you expect them to have it. When they're sitting in a chair in school, again, this is the part of the back that the, the chair is against. So it's really irritating and they can be hopping around. It's one that's easy enough to integrate. Um, you can use a ball or brushes to, to really stimulate this area all the time if you can get them to lie down still for long enough to do it. Um, but it's worth working on because it can have an impact on children later on with this spinal development. For more information on retained primitive reflexes, visit www.simplephysicalliteracy.com and go to the video gallery for all the videos. Have a look at the blogs, have a look at the more information about um, primitive reflexes and postural reflexes and get yourself familiar with all the information about retained primitive reflexes because it can have a real impact on your child. Thank you.